Driven by the conviction that progress happens when people feel secure, Liberty Mutual is a global property and casualty insurer, protecting everything from homes to cars to businesses. We're there to back up our millions of customers when the unexpected happens. Today, every customer interaction is digital, from our applications to our call centers to our websites. And these interactions need to be easy, 24-7, 365 days a year. Our story today is about adaptability, change, new ways of working, and it's about innovation. As a 109-year-old company, we've learned a thing or two about adapting to change. But in the last 10 years, we've seen more change than in the previous 100 combined. To thrive amongst this change, our journey to the cloud became our North Star. This journey began in 2014. We needed to relearn everything about how we delivered software at a time before most serverless AWS services even existed. To succeed, we needed to spark a continuous learning and experimentation culture within our developers. That's why between 2014 and 2019, we created world-class automated guardrails on our AWS accounts. This meant that our developers could have the confidence to go out and experiment with new capabilities and then bring back the learnings for everybody else. We also instilled the attitude that code is a liability. It's not an asset. What this means is that every single line of code must have demonstrable business value. And this has been core to our evolutionary architecture strategy rapidly delivering business value in a well-architected way. In 2019, it was time for us to go through another evolution, this time using AWS CDK. But like everything else in life, we needed to start slow before we could gain some speed and then optimize on best practices. It was August of 2019 when we started slow. I created a TypeScript proof of concept and this, it was an L3 construct for a fully compliant private API gateway with a custom authorizer Lambda function. This mightn't sound like much, but it reduced over 1,500 lines of cloud formation down to just 14 lines of CDK. Yeah. And not only is that impressive because it's less code, but all our teams could share a common construct, which reduces the code liability of the overall company. Plus, it enabled our standard CI CD practices like unit testing, which was amazing. We then took things to the next level by pairing AWS CDK with AWS SAM for the enhanced local testing. This felt like a game changer, but we were still a long way from using it at scale. To gain speed, we needed to win the hearts and minds of our developers. And that's why, before the end of 2019, we launched a platform called the Software Accelerator. The Accelerator allows any developer to clone a working pattern and have a compliant, production-ready pipeline. In seconds, it allows anyone to contribute back their working software, further accelerating our continuous learning flywheel through InnerSource. My L3 construct was added to the accelerator at launch, along with a stripped back compliance starter pattern. From here, education was key. We ran the tutorial at cdkworkshop.com several times internally across the globe, and we always finished with every developer creating a working pipeline through our accelerator. This meant that after they left, they could always add the business logic later from any of the open source CDK patterns. Then, I worked with some amazing people to create CDK Day. This was a global virtual conference, and it was so important that Liberty Mutual has had several speakers feeding back into the wider community. A great example of how CDK combined with our accelerator has been core to our continuous learning was at reInvent last year, 2020. AWS Lambda container image support was the big announcement on Tuesday. By the Friday, 
a working pattern was in our accelerator and it was being used to solve real business problems by the following Monday. Less than seven days later. Throughout 2020, our flywheel had accelerated to the point we deployed more than three and a half thousand serverless patterns. But that meant in 2021, optimization became key. We'd spent all this time embracing divergence, but now we needed to converge on best practices. This is where we used the AWS well-architected framework to drive those discussions. We looked at what was common across all of our stacks and introduced core constructs for everyday capabilities like BBC lookups right out of the box. We then experimented with CDK aspects to automatically warn on compliance issues right in the IDE, further reducing developer burden. We now have an ecosystem of well-architected reusable constructs that allows us to rapidly deliver business value in a well-architected way. The proof? We have teams leaving discovery and framing to deliver working, well-architected products less than three days later. We're delivering industry-leading capabilities like our unstructured data ingestion pipeline. It is 96% faster than the manual process and every bit is accurate, all built using well-architected CDK patterns. In fact, a great story is we're so fast now that I had an intern join my team last year and he was pushing code to production on his first day and nothing broke. This morning, you heard me talk through how we started slow by learning what CDK could bring to Liberty, how we gained speed through developer education and scaled through InnerSource until finally we were taking advantage of everything CDK has to offer, rapidly delivering business value in a well-architected way. We've embraced continuous learning and experimentation to be there and deliver on our promise to our customers in their time of need. This is our mission. A great example of this is we built a serverless call center that can automatically process a claim after a natural disaster in less than four minutes. This allows our customers to piece their lives back together. This is our mission, and this is why we want to use CDK to tell dozens of stories like this. So going forward, we are going to continue to empower and enable our developers to be the best versions of themselves that they can be. We see this as a key differentiator, enabling us to push the boundaries of digital product, reuse, and inner source, whilst enabling our developers to stay in lockstep with our customer needs. So I challenge all of the builders, dreamers, and doers out there. What was announced this week that you're going to enable tomorrow? Thank you. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait here, Matt. Come up here. Um, Matt has done tremendous work for the community and created really a truly vibrant community around the CDK. And he's gone way beyond just sharing his knowledge and learning and as such, I would like to give you the Now Go Build Award as a reward for all the efforts that you've done. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Matt.